Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I fill in my eyebrows, which is why they are not filled in right now. I am rocking the oh natural look. <laughs> yeah, so natural. I will of course be giving you tips and tricks to use along the way, so I really hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So the first thing I use is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's just a brow pencil. It looks like this. It has two sides. One has a spoolie brush to comb through the brows, and then one has the actual pencil. I love these pencils because as you can see, they are so thin on the top so you can really get precise when you are applying it but at the same time it's not breakable it's nice and tough and dense so you're not like doing this and it doesn't just like crumble off like some other brow pencils do first thing I do is I take the spoolie and I just run it through my brow just to shape it how I'm going to want it shaped so you don't want to like run it downward like this when you're shaping it you want to make sure that you have it in the position that you're going to want to follow along I always suggest starting at the tail of the brow, not the inner corner, because then sometimes you can look a little too harsh, you can get too much product in here, so I always start out here in this area. So I'm just going to lay my pencil down right here, and I'm just going to begin, and I'm going to just drag this out right there, because my brow tends to flip up right here at the end, it tends to kind of do that. So I mark out where I want it to lay, and then that's what the brow gel is for, when I use that at the end, it will just keep that flat to my face. And then I'm going to just sculpt this whole area out. At first, all I'm going to do is just stay at the bottom of the brow. I'm not actually technically filling in yet. I'm just staying along the bottom portion right here. Now, once I get to this area right here, I'm actually going to stop filling in. I'm not going to put any product whatsoever in this entire area right here. For a natural brow, I stop right here and I use more of a heavy hand out here and more of a lighter hand in this area. So this is like super, super light and then this, I get much more dense and darker. So then in this area, I will begin to just fill this area in. So now you're going to just create that arch by slowly but densely going over this area. I personally never want my natural hairs peeking out and over my brow pencil, so I like to go all the way in this area and fill this whole situation in. And then just spool it out. When you're using the spoolie, make sure that you're not like taking it and running it across your forehead because it will take that product and just drag it across your face. So now you can see I still have this patch right here, so I'm just going to lightly fill this area in as well. And I'm going super light since I'm getting more towards the inner brow. The more you are in this area, the darker you can be. The more in this area, I like to go lighter just because it'll give you a softer, more natural look and you won't look as mean or harsh. So now that I have filled in this whole area of my brow, I'm then going to take my spoolie and just go in this area lightly. You don't want to go below the natural hair or above, just in that area, and just kind of spread it around. And it will spread it even if you feel like it's not. I promise it will spread that pencil around. Now I'm going to do the exact same steps to the other brow. But just remember, your brows are sisters, but they are not twins. It is basically impossible to get any two brows to look the exact same. So follow the same steps, but don't get frustrated. They're not identical. You can blend that out and shape them how you need to. Um, this brow right here is much thinner in this area than this brow is. So I typically have to drag my pencil down a little bit more in this area than I do over here. This one I follow my natural hair. This one I kind of fake it and I drag it down just a tiny bit below right in that area and literally just doing that step makes a difference if I don't do that when I get done doing my brows it really does look like botch Botox and as you can see this brow is a little bit sharper than this one is more round so I will be conscious of that and just kind of put a little bit more product there just to slightly round that area out to help it match up a little bit with this one then I will go in and fill in the area and the tail. And then sometimes to make this part easier carving out the top, you can take your brows and slightly push them down just to see where that hair growth is. And if you see where that hair growth is, you can kind of line that up perfectly and go right over the root of the hair. So this is how I would wear my brow on a day-to-day -day basis where, you know, I'm not doing anything really over the top, no super smoky eye, nothing really dramatic. All I do is literally just fill in the outer tail with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown and then blend it all together with the spoolie and that's 
it. But I am going to now show you how to step it up and really carve them out and make it even more dramatic. So now I am going to go in with another Anastasia Brow Wiz, and this is in the shade Ash Blonde. So this is a couple shades lighter. I'm going to use this to fill in the inner corner of my brow now, and this is going to give it kind of an ombre effect, but it'll make it look really natural and it's really easy. So this I will bring all the way to that inner hair, and just drag it straight back to meet it up with that soft brown. And you really want to make sure that you carve out this bottom area right in here the entire time. You want this to be the sharpest area of the brow, the very bottom of it, to make it look the most defined. Once I have lightly just made a line in the bottom of the brow, then I will slowly and so lightly just flick it upward. Not all the way upward to the top of my brow, just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm barely putting any pressure. If you can see, not much product is being placed on the skin. So now that I have that, I will go back with soft brown and I will begin to fill this part in even more dramatically. And now I'm going to press down a little bit harder. On this side, my brows go straight up naturally. This side, they go in naturally. So I do take my pencil and I do make a line that goes right here past my brow just to make that look more like this one. And then I will sculpt that out in a minute and I'll show you how I make that look more natural. So now that we have filled in our entire brows, the inner corner with ash blonde and then the outer corner with soft brown, and pretty much we're going super light handed with ash blonde right here and then we meet ash blonde and soft brown right here in the center and then we continue to go light handed with soft brown and then we go much more heavy handed out here to make it the darkest. So you want it to be light, medium, dark on the brow. That is what's going to look the most natural. So now I'm going to take any concealer. I'm taking the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is shade NW20. You do want this shade to be a little bit lighter than your skin. And I'm going to take the Flat Definer Brush by Sigma. This is the E15. It has the gold ferrule on it because it is from the Extravaganza Collection. So with a little bit on the back of my hand, I am just going to rub that on the brush on both sides. And then with the excess, just kind of wipe that off. We don't want it to have tons of product. Like right there is good. So then I'm literally just going to sculpt out my brow. You won't think this is going to make a huge difference, but it really, really will. So starting in the inner corner with this brush, I'm just going to press it right underneath my natural hairs and drag it. With whatever is left over on my brush, I just kind of lightly shimmy downward to blend that into the eyeshadow area. That way you don't have a super, super harsh line right there in the inner corner. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing on top. So we're going to hold the brush above our eye and we're going to just from right here, I do not press it up against the brow like I do on the bottom half. I'm going to just slowly bring it down towards that brow. And then what is left on your brush is what you'll use to sculpt this area out. So then with the product on there, I'm just going to lightly drag it along right above that brow. Get it as close as possible. This is really great for if you make any mistakes on your brows, you go up too high with that pencil, you can literally go in and just erase it. If you want to really sculpt the tail of your brow out, you can, you can get in there really precisely and drag it along. I usually do my brows right after my foundation before I do any of my powders or any of my blushes or contour. That way I can be a little bit more messy with this, but since I have powder products on my cheeks right now, going to tend to look a little yucky so I'm trying to be really careful so I'm just gonna grab it right there under the natural hair and right here I don't go up underneath my natural hairs like I do on this one because this brow has more of a gradual slant naturally this one kind of like goes upward naturally so because of that I make a straight line as an illusion and leave a very small area in here without the concealer just to make it look a little bit more even. I'm going to start right here on this outer tail and sculpt this out.
Once again though, you just want to run this right above the hair like that and just make that line and I'm bringing it down a little bit more. I'm erasing a little bit of what I did just because I'm seeing that I didn't want it as high up. So do you see now how this one is rounded and this one is more angular? It always, always happens to me. So I have to go in and round this one out. This brow just wants to be sharper and harsher than that one for some reason. This is my easy brow. This one, I have more difficulties with it. I will go in underneath and just kind of round it in this area and bring a little bit more product down. I'm using soft brown around it in this area in there it already looks much rounder and I'll just go in in that rounding circular motion and so you can see in this area that is a total lie there is no hair right in here I just filled that in just to make it look more like this one but you really can't tell with the techniques that we're using. So then just to finish everything, I do go in with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is the best brow gel I've ever used in my entire life. It's seriously like glue. I start on the outer corner because when you put it on, it really, really works and it does not let your brows move and it dries almost like a crustiness, which I like because my brows won't go anywhere. So I always start on the outer tail. It doesn't really matter if the outer tail is crusty at all. And then I get it directly on that area so that those hairs don't flop around or flick up or anything. And then whatever is left over, I go in the inner corner and I just flatten that area out. And I actually like the way the brow gel makes my brow look. You can see this one has more movement in it where this one looks more like it's just been done, almost like it's just powdery. But this one, there's much more movement and it's like you can see the individual hairs and I think that looks much better with the brow gel in it. On days where I'm barely wearing any makeup whatsoever and I'm literally throwing on some quick mascara running out the door, I will use a clear brow gel on just my regular brows because even just doing that is better than nothing and it will spruce you up a little bit. So now we are completely done filling in our brows. Now is the time to go around and tweeze any additional hairs that you have in these areas. Since the brows are completely filled in the way you desire them, any hairs that you see are obviously gonna be unwanted hairs. That is how I keep my brows maintained. Every single time I fill in my brows, I grab one or two little stray hairs and just tweeze them away. That way I never really have to have like this big day where I sit down, I'm like, oh my gosh, my brows are a disaster. Um, I do take care of them myself. I don't get them threaded or waxed. I just fill them in like this and then I go through and I just tweeze unwanted hairs. Um, two years ago, my brows were a disaster. They were a hot mess. Oh my gosh. I had like 15 hairs on my brows and I just used to make this exact shape and then tweeze around it and then wash it all off. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but that's how I got them to grow into this shape is just one day at a time. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully you learn a little something. I will have all of the information for every product I use and everything happening on my face and my hair in the description bar down below. So I love you and I'll talk to you soon.